So that is to tell you how juicy the rate on Pikivest is. And to be honest, I am still confused. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Awam Kenneth, and welcome back for a new one today. So, I have a bit of a mind that I am not bad in my hair, so you guys are just going to have to bear with me being this bearded. No point intended. So, today's video is about an investment app that I saw, or I have ignored for a very long time, thinking that they are scam and they are bullshit, and I should not waste any valuable time looking at them and I had like the strong mindset that I knew the bigger players in investing when it comes to like capital markets and money markets in Nigeria and it could easily access those guys and those guys have stayed over 10 years in existence and SEC a security exchange regulate them and yeah basically they're most they are more trustworthy and they are the egg bonds you know the elders sitting on the equity or the elders where the younger people sit on their shoulder if that makes sense for you so this app is called Pikivest and it says on your website right now I'm looking at it on my laptop it says N 10% to 15.5% interest on savings and N over 25% returns on investment right so I've seen this way back before like I'm telling you guys but I didn't bother I was like okay investment one could be of a better help to me and yeah it came recommended from someone and i also researched and i saw that okay investment one is popular i visited the office in abuja last year or early this year and i was like oh confident confident but still i didn't still trust investment one to be honest because you know shit happens in nigeria and you can't just be 100 percent sure of whatever you're doing here because we don't have people who give stories about your business or investing capacity and before i go any further i'm also reading the book i feel bad for showing this book right now here because i'm meant to have done a book review of my friend who released the book but the book is still not here it's in abuja and i don't know why it hasn't been sent to me here in just but i'm reading small business big money by akina labi and coincidentally i'm also trying to review this app you can first and why these two things come together here is that a lot of people are focused on get money quick like get rich fast kind of scams and fall privy to scams and ponzi schemes here in nigeria i don't know about elsewhere but here in nigeria there are tons and tons of ponzi schemes going on every day over right now as we speak even after the incidents of mmm it feels like people are not learning or they are just you know what it was a good day for them. It could be a good day for me too. You know, let me invest early and cash out quick. <laughs> the world goes on round and round. So, Pika Vest was very intriguing to me. Honestly, I didn't know the interest rate were this high. I just knew that they were like, oh yeah, 10%. So, I was listening to a podcast by um, Pistack. I think it's called the Fintech Decode or the Decode Fintech. And here comes the co-founder of Piggyvest, just talking about Piggyvest, how they started, how they were able to transition from Piggy Bank to Piggyvest. And I was like intrigued. I was like, okay, I like how you're speaking. You were speaking like someone who went to school, you know, even graduating from Confident University, a high born, high class university, private university in Nigeria. I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. And see, I'm listening to you. Please talk more. Like, I wish my friends who have accounts on Pikiverse would have so politely and seductively persuade me into investing in Pikiverse. And to this, I say apologies to Leonard, my friend. He told me about this app for quite a while and I was like, nah, I have more knowledge, you know, in quotes in stock and investing and come again on the right time. So with that, I say I'm very sorry to you. And now I have an account on Pikiverse. I have put in some money and it basically works like treasury bills from the bank or buying bonds from the bank right now and also buying dollar. So basically, I would say Pikiverse is sort of a digital bank-esque 
merging with a digital mutual fund account in sort of a way whereby they invest for you and give you a very nice, luxurious, you know, sexy, juicy interest rate. And to put this into perspective, if you were to invest, let's say, a million 500,000 in Diamond Bank, not invest, just lock it up in Diamond Bank, in what the, or Access Bank, the now Access Bank, what they call high, the high interest deposit account. Currently, that is around 3.8%. And if you invest anything from 4 million upwards or 4.5 million upwards, they give you roughly 4 point something percent, right? Per annum. For here is Pigiverse giving you roughly 10% to Let's just say 15% per annum. And I'm always wondering how, why, what is happening? And to also put in on the perspective into this game here is investment one. Yeah, I think for me, um, the highest I've seen on investment one is 7.5. It was at 8, but now it has brought to 7.5 due to the monetary policy change in Nigeria. Per annum, that's where you get on 7.5, and the money is locked in for at least six months. If you withdraw before six months, you will be given a fine, you know, it's like that on your interest, but nothing big, nothing major. So, that is to tell you how juicy the rates on Pikavest is. And uh, to be honest, I am still confused. I have tried to research, I have researched on um, Pikavest, says the money you give them is locked away in some of their partners they partner with some mutual funds company i think there's i don't mention any name so i don't mistake yeah so mutual fund companies they partner with and the money is securely and safely locked away there so hence the high interest rates but they won't disclose further what um those assets are those um capital assets are and so far, it's a little bit, you know, hmm, what is giving you guys this high interest rate? For me, I think it's the Nigerian bonds. The Nigerian bonds are still high. This is giving quite juicy interest rates. So this is where pool comes in. You pull a lot of people's money together and you're able to like securely purchase one, one block of investment or one block of funds. I'm using block here, but just mind the analogy so you're able to like invest in the government bonds in nigeria and if anybody wants to cash out you still have excess money to like you know do business with those people that is what i'm thinking right now but they also have and they also have a dollar savings account that gives you roughly six percent per annum on all dollar denominated savings Right, and with that, they said they partner with another mutual fund um, company that handles that dollar investment. And for Investify, a future on their app, they partner with companies like Trevor Greek, I'm not sure, Farm Crowdy, maybe Agro Partnership. They basically partner with agricultural um, tech companies. And they're able to secure investments, um, your investments, and also able to provide you interest as high as 25%. So this is what Pigivest has been able to do, and this is what they offer. Now, when it comes to security, there's still a question mark. Mind you, Pigivest has been alive <laughs> and well in Nigeria for over three years which is a testament to their um, capabilities. But still with the, you know, the murky, work, the murky waters of Nigerian investing, it's very, very difficult to really say um, everybody is mandated to open an account with Digivest. You know, it should become, it should definitely become like a constitutional right to have an account with Digivest. Because if they offer this and it's legit, then why do we put money in banks? I mean, from actual, apart from, aside from transactions, right? Like, everybody in primary school, nursery school, crash, kindergarten should know this, right? Should know Pikiverse and start investing with it. And that is the excitement I got when I discovered this high 
interest rates and I was totally beating myself up for like not taking the chance, not taking a second guess on this, the afterthought on this, not even just playing around with it and I have lost like three years, guys. I would have been with Bigiverse for three years. So this also brings me back to Akin Zalabi book on small business, big money. And I promise I will do a review on that. Akin basically talked about how people say they want to be entrepreneurs, but they give wrong reasons. They give wrong whys on why, sorry, the point, they want to be an entrepreneur. Some due to the fact that they don't like bosses. They want to be their own boss. They want money. And that's where me, I fall into place. I want money. So instead of just starting a business, I should go get a job, right? And that is the advice he gave here. Because people do not want to build a business, they just want to hammer overnight. And I think that is the discourse that most people are not really paying attention to. Like, yeah, being an entrepreneur, like reading their stories is very, very fancy. And we all fancy that if you're honest with yourself. And I feel like people are neglecting the fact that to be successful, you have to build something that you're totally in control of. Because if you're not in control of it, then that is not a business. And again, we also mistake opportunities for um, entrepreneurship. Like Opportunities could be a contract, but you do not control contract. You do not control who supplies you the contract, right? But if you're an agricultural farmer, you to an extent control everything that happens in your business, whether you buy fertilizer, whether you don't buy fertilizer, whether you plant maize, whether you don't plant maize, those things are in your control. And you, to some extent, can control the market price if you're a big-time farmer, right? So that is more of the pros of entrepreneurship when taught true well. And yeah, it gets a little bit murky. This is the fact that they are starving people here and people literally want money to survive. So with that said, I hope you enjoy this little rant about big vests. And yeah, see you guys soon. Because I'm still going to do another video on big vests. Peace. Stay safe, guys. See you in my next one.